I am Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman of Douglas County Board of Commissioners. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Clearly, our show on DCTV 23 that has the purpose of bringing information to you about county departments, programs, and people. Information is essential to being able to think clearly. And I would now like to introduce our second keynote speaker. Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones took office in January of 2017, serving as the first African American Commission Chairman in the history of Douglas County. Born in Memphis, Tennessee, Dr. Jones graduated from Hamilton High School and followed in the footsteps of her father, a career war Korean War veteran, by joining the U.S. Army for three years. She married a U.S. Marine and is officially retired as a former spouse of 19 years. Dr. Jones earned a bachelor's degree from Southern Illinois University, a master's degree from Chapman University, and an educational leadership doctorate from Argosy University. Dr. Jones worked in healthcare industry for 40 years, of which 31 involved leadership, operations management, budget, policy development, personnel, process improvement, strategic planning, and master planning, master facility planning. She has worked in federal and state government, public, private, nonprofit, and for profit organizations. Dr. Jones Ventures helped to secure $3.3 billion in investments within her first year of office. She added to the financial mix when she helped welcome global technology company Switch, I know Rob's here today, um, who is currently building a 1 million square foot campus in Douglas County. This $2.5 billion investment sets the mark as the most significant single capital investment in Georgia's history. Dr. Jones is focusing on many issues with particular attention on transparency, economic development, workforce development, transportation, public engagement, public health, public safety, mental health, housing growth, youth, seniors, and keeping Douglas County beautiful. Please help me welcome my other friend, um, Chairman Dr. Ramon Jack Ramona Jackson Jones. Douglas County is on the move. Give us a hand. Good afternoon. I would like to personally thank Council of the Quality Growth, Douglas County Chamber, and the Douglas County Economic Development uh, Authority for hosting this auspicious occasion for two consecutive years. Board of Commissioners, Mayor Robinson, and your wonderful uh, city council, Mayor Jeff Reese and Villarica City Council, school board chairman Tracy Ruckert Shaw and the school board members, all local, state, and, and federal, and elected uh, and appointed officials, and also our business owners, and also our regional partners, and veterans, and community stakeholders, and all the valued Douglas County citizens in the audience, watching by television or by the internet. This is the day that the Lord has made. Before I start, I would like to introduce my fellow Board of Commissioners, and I will ask that you hold your applause until I finish. I would like to first start with our Vice Chairman, Kelly Robinson of District 2, Commissioner as well. Could you please stand? We have with us also District 1, Commissioner, Henry Mitchell III, would you please stand? We have our District uh, 3 Commissioner, Terenia Carthen, would you please stand? And last but not least, we have our District 4 Commissioner, Ann jones Guider. Please give them a hand. <laughs> Thank you for your invaluable time and talent and tenacity, Commissioners as we lead this great county forward. My duty this afternoon is to report on the state of our great county. 
Collectively, we must seize the opportunity to captivate a successful future with unlimited growth. As chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, it is my distinct honor to serve in a capacity to magnify our accomplishments and clarify our opportunities and manage and specify the challenges of our immediate future. Douglas County is a growing region and we are changing and we have a dynamic environment and we are emblematic of a thriving economy. Douglas County is well known as a prosperous business location and destination for culture and we are filled with passion and we are creating a new vibrant approach to our economic development in the region. We are ranked among the top 20 best counties to live in out of 149 counties in the state of Georgia. Give us a hand. We are the 17th largest county out of 159 counties. Our conviction to move from good to great, is it produced a year of progress in 2018. Progress while bringing government and transparency closer to the citizens we serve. Douglas County is the epitome of majestic and transformational and, and we have a superior regional footprint that serves diverse people, philosophies, and economies that transcends municipal boundaries. Our reputation is more than symbolic. We are robust, we are energetic, and we are competitive. Douglas County school system is first class, and we pride ourselves on providing quality education to life, lifelong learners to become responsible individuals. We are independent thinkers and we produce the goods. Our local colleges and universities consistently uphold the standards for student-centered learning and produce a multi-talented, highly qualified workforce in Douglas County. Thank you all so much, school system, and let's give them a hand because they're amazing. Thank you. Our water supply is plentiful. However, our community is growing, and we must strategically plan for the future. We have a reservoir that we are planning to expand in the future, and I would like to thank the Douglas County and Douglasville Water and Sewer Authority. Mr. Gil Shurhouse, I know you're in here, but thank you. You're doing so well, and I appreciate, it. appreciate all the great things that you're doing. With this reservoir, it will, we will raise it eventually. We're planning right now by 35 feet and increased storage capacity from 1.9 million gallons to 6.6 .6 billion gallons of water. And I meant to say 1.9 billion uh, gallons. That's what we have currently, and we'll move to 6.6 .6 billion gallons of water. I think that's pretty sharp. Public safety is a very high priority, and my administration is committed to protecting and serving our citizens. We are proving that by our great renovation now at the courthouse. We are putting safety before convenience. We have advanced our ground game, and the long-awaited 900 or 800 megahertz E911 radio is about to go up in October. We have the towers almost in place, and we are moving and shaking in Douglas County. Our sheriff, Tim Pounds, has made a big difference. We have equipment, we have resources, we have cars. We have purchased so much to make our staff the epitome of greatness and plus make sure that we're reducing crime. Tim Pound says, if you see something, say something. And that means our sheriff wants you to be aware just as we are. Together, we are working in a unified bipartisan manner to overcome the fear of failure while embracing optimism as we embark upon a bright and promising future. Our financial position is very strong with a favorable AA2 rating. Our credit ranking is very high quality with an exceptional light burden and incorporates a large tax base and a healthy wealth and income profile. According to Moody's investors, 
Guess what? Our median household income is over $65,000. We're neck to neck with Cobb, and the cab is trailing us now. So give us a hand. Our status equates to 95.5% of the U.S. level. Our economy is vigorous, and our unemployment is the lowest in 51 years at 3.4%. From the depths of the Great Recession, Douglas County has resounded or rebounded from having the highest numbers of foreclosures in the state of Georgia. Guess what, now we've transcended to a record-breaking year for home sales in 2018. Our home prices are trending upward and our median home uh, sales values rose to 12.7% over the last year. And everybody's scratching their heads saying, what is Douglas County doing? We are moving forward. Finally, we have broken the chain of communication by creating a business-friendly atmosphere for residential build builders and developers and realtors and bankers and investors in 2018. The Board of Commissioners and the Douglasville, Douglas County Water and Sewer Authority Board of Directors partnered and we resolved the gridlock of, a pipe, of the pipe farm subdivisions that originated in 2004 in Douglas County. And we are moving forward. So guess what? Going forward, we are rolling up the red tape in Douglas County. We are rolling out the red carpet because we are open for business. <laughs> Guided by a new vision by, for the community and a new comprehensive strategic plan, Douglas County Economic Development and Douglas County Chamber have made significant strides to provide a clear direction and sound commitment to collaboration for our great economic vitality. For five consecutive years, we have had sustained growth with the infusion of young, educated residents and strong leaders who have been working together to make a positive impact. Guess what? Economic uh, economist Dr. Joy Smith of West Georgia University pointed out Douglas County is ready to become the next big, big county in terms of sustainability and well-developed growth. And I believe he's right by looking at the astronomical number of cars on Highway 5 and Chapel Hill Road. <laughs> Douglas County has gained, we are just moving, we have gained more jobs than other, the other six western counties and we produced 2,974 jobs in 2018. And I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> our small and large businesses are vital to our community and Douglas County government values your ideas and contributions. As the daughter of a 50 year small business owner, I know all too well what it means to live through the peaks and valleys of a small business when you have some challenges some days and you will have some opportunities. My mother just turned 82 years old and she still owns a small business and she says if she had to do life all over again, she wouldn't change a thing because she said business owners, she said, guess what? God said God will bless the child with his own and when you have a business, it's yours. So I said, mom, you're all right with me. <laughs> Douglas County is leading the charge in workforce development. Last year, Douglas County Chamber partnered with Douglas County Economic Development Authority, Douglas Unite 3, BBT, and Mercer University and offered a nine-week co-starters program that equips entrepreneurs like you and like me with insight and relationships and tools to turn to business ideas, uh, turn those business ideas into action. We are poised for economic success. Switch Data Center, the largest single investment, a capital investment in Georgia's history, is under construction right here in Douglas County. But oh no, let's not forget Google. Google has furthered the commitment to Douglas County in 2018 by donating $95,000 to Douglas County Education Foundation this past year.
since the 2003 inception of Google, they have invested $4.68 billion in Douglas County in creating more than 250 jobs and contributing more than $8.4 million to local schools and area nonprofits. Our public engagement is at an all-time high. Douglas County Tourism and Field Film Trail is booming with business, and we are exploring outside the lines with six billboards going up in the next week or so, and I'm so excited. I'm going to be riding, riding all over the state of Georgia touting about our billboards. The Board of Commissioners just approved our new trendy brand, branding logo with the bright and exciting color palette. Douglas County External Affairs Department is the catalyst for arts, culture, and humanities, and has gained two national recognitions from NACO in the last two years. Our history and tourism, <laughs> our history and tourism muse museum is a main attraction, and Douglasville, Douglas County Cultural Arts Co Council launched a new initiative to use public art to further establish the community as a dynamic center and creativity and destination for visitors. Fanfare for progressing transportation in Douglas County has become reality. And in an effort to address the growing transit and mobility needs at our, in our county for Douglas County, I should say, we have expanded transportation options for citizens with the Connect Douglas fixed route service. This new bus service is currently scheduled to begin spring of 2019, and we will operate within the boundaries of Douglas County and conveniently connect residents to the places they want to go. Douglas County has become a catalyst for change, and our attitudes and spirit to tap into the best practices to enhance Georgia's 61-year roadblock in transportation is commendable. Georgia has been talking about advancing transportation since 1958. In Douglas County, we, have, we are no longer classified as part of the problem. We are now part of the solution. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> last year, last year we cut ribbons. And we cut ribbons all over the place. And we celebrated the opening of Southwire and its new location in the western part of our county. The Board of Commissioners opened the Douglas County Government Annex Campus, comprised of the Tax Commissioner's Office, the Tax and Tag Offices, and also our Tax Assessors, our Geographical Information Services, and Fleet Operations. Our, the state-of-the-art Douglas County Community Outpatient Services, which is, focuses on behavioral health, mental health, and substance abuse, has opened as well. Our health department is doing an extremely wonderful job and providing extremely good services. Good things come to those who wait. A state of the art, 16,850 square feet women's center with a level two neonatal intensive care unit is opening at Douglas County Wellstar this month. The women's center is the most anticipated project at Wellstar in 40 years. <laughs> Douglas County's judicial system and mental health and accountability courts have become the model in the state of reducing recidivism, and we are on the forefront of the national step stepping up initiative to reduce the number of people with mental illnesses in jails. Homelessness is a real concern in the United States, and Douglas County Judge Bo McLean, along with full support of the Board of Commissioners, will cut the ribbon on the first ever sanctuary village homeless transitional housing in Douglas County this year. Our administration is committed to needs of senior citizens and as a member of the Atlanta Regional Commission Senior Aging and Independence Board and also a member of the Senior Club myself, we brought in $511,000 in state and federal funding for direct services provided exclusively for our Douglas County residents in 2018. And let's not forget our youth. Our youth are our future. 
and Douglas County External Affairs Department hosted its first youth commissioners program to foster opportunity, opportunities for our young folks to learn about county government so they can take this baton from me. And I'm really excited, so I will be going to the beach. <laughs> our government youth deserves to enjoy, and we have some things on the horizons for them. We have a new multi-purpose center that's uh, under design now and should be building, be building soon. And I would like to thank our Parks and Recreation Director, Mr. Gary Dukes, is here as well. And I did not forget my county administrator, Mr. Mark Teal, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. And I see Miguel Valentin as well. So thank you all for what you do. We celebrate, and I'm going to move back and pivot to the veterans. All of our veterans, I would like to thank. I would like to thank State Senator Donzella James and the Department of Veteran, Veteran Affairs and the Board of Commissioners for hosting the 50th year Vietnam commemoration ceremony at the Douglas County Courthouse in December 2018. I would be remiss not to thank Habitat of Humanity for committing to build at least eight houses for veterans in Douglas County. And as I'm a veteran, I am honored for this act of kindness. Collectively, this administration has made significant progress and we are beginning to see the fruits of our labor. Upon taking office, I decided to cast a wide net to strengthen our efficiencies in areas of county government and I'm proud of the significant progress my fellow commissioners are producing in their prospective roles as committee chairman and committee vice chairman of Parks and Recreation. Thank you, Commissioner Mitchell, for moving our parks along. And also we have transportation. Thank you, Vice Chairman Robinson. Fire and EMS, thank you, Commissioner Guider, for leading that. We have residential oversight. We have tax abatement. We have the public safety. And we have purchasing oversight. And thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen, for leading that initiative for us. We are strategically uh, prepared for a great outlook. We must commit to long-term capital planning as the uh, common thread to secure our future. We must continue to examine cost savings and opportunities, and I am excited about a $2.2 million guaranteed energy savings performance contract, which provides energy efficiency and infrastructure upgrades to 38 municipal government buildings in Dub Douglas County. So thank you. We pride ourselves on hard work while making sure every need for all our citizens in Douglas County is being met. Last year was the rainiest to me on season, but I just heard it was the second rainiest, and several road infrastructure projects were delayed. However, Douglas County Transportation is rolling out a hearty plan in 2019, and Lee Road is at the top of the list. There are... There are approximately 700 road miles in Douglas County, and my administration will spend $51 million in splash uh, dollars for road resurfacing and infrastructure and pothole repairs. We know that's important for the next five years. We will spend $10 million on the local match improvements funding. We are working intensively with GDOT, Georgia Department of Transportation, to make sure that our roads are safe and that our roads are earmarked and pristine here in Douglas County. I am so excited what we're doing. We are holding our image and reputation in the palm of our hands. And it's up to us to make a difference. Our first impressions are always last impressions. My priority this year is on gateway beautification, and thank you, Mayor Robinson, for highlighting my concerns about our cleanliness, because we must be crystal clear with ourselves. We must keep Douglas County beautiful. We must take the message of cleanliness into the streets, and also, not only in that, we're taking it now into the elementary schools with hopes that our children will hold us accountable. We must remain and we must recondition ourselves to keep our roadsides and communities clean. The cost of keeping our community clean only requires one thing, and that's commitment. Together, we have labored hard to deliver a body of work that is unmatched, but we still have much more work to do. We are experiencing tremendous 
growth and our population is exceeding our road capacity and forthcoming expansion projects will provide substantial relief. Douglas County is dark and our street lights and sidewalks and traffic lights are in need of a strategic key plan. We have these, uh, we have some identified some key strategic locations and I'm committed to improving visibility and walking ability here in Douglas County to protect our citizens. <laughs> Going forward, we must work through the political overlay to address truck traffic in Georgia, and Douglas County is not exempt. We must begin to build upon the future with a regional playbook that gives consideration to advancing sewer and fiber in specific areas throughout the county to maximize our ability to become and be read, shovel ready at any time. Our strategic priorities, our mission, our vision and values will not tolerate substandard. This is our county, our image, and we must take a pristine approach to address our efficiencies. This is our future, our fate, and the choices are ours. We strive to be good stewards of our environment and our families and our neighborhood and the communities. And we have a wonderful uh, and a giant stake in the direction of our county. Finally, this past year yielded many accomplishments and we should be proud. However, our work is endless. We must separate our differences and stand on one accord to move this great county forward. This is a new day in Douglas County, and our positive profiles of courage supersedes the boundaries of political party affiliations. No matter the obstacle we encounter, we must keep moving in a forward direction. As the sister of a Mississippi preacher, we will not let fear destabilize our conviction because we are a God fearing community. Our success has gone viral all over the state of Georgia and we are garnering national recognition for the work we are doing and the work yet to come. We cannot allow our challenges to minimize our confidence and common purpose to do what is right for our community. The state of Douglas County is strong and the moment at our and the momentum of our progress is making a difference today, tomorrow, and years to come. Thank you, bless you, and may God bless Douglas County. Mayor and Chairwoman, that, those were great messages. Congratulations on all your hard work and congratulations to the staff of both the county and the city and everybody who, who makes this great community what it is. I want to thank you all for, all for being here today. I want to thank our sponsors. I want to thank Moreland Altabelli and I want to thank everybody for taking their time to come here with us today. We look forward to seeing you next year and have a great, beautiful week. Thank you so much. <laughs>